Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! Today is going to be a side quest part of sorts. I'm gonna do stuff from the Trouble Center as well as get some collectibles that I can now get thanks to my Yoshi buddy there. So let's go back over to Rogueport and I don't think I showed the cutscene back there did I? So let's show it this time I suppose. It's not as long as the other cutscene but I just thought I would show it for the sake of completion I suppose. Not all that special, it's not like you're coming to Glitzville, uh, you know, when you got that flyby view of stuff, but uh, oddly, you can't like see any flyby view over to Rogueport, that would be kind of interesting to see, you know, uh, Rogueport from a distance, like how they would portray it from a distance. Okie dokie. And here we are. Alright, now... I'm going to head over near the Trouble Center with my Yoshi buddy. Yoshis are by far the best ride any man could ask for, ever. And over here is something, yep, that's what I thought. Gonzalez, you got an email. Mm. Dearest Mario, I've uncovered something terrible. These things, the x knots they plan to take control of the world. Because it's to that end that they're searching for the Crystal Stars. I still don't know what the Crystal Stars do, but you must try to get them all. I will gather what information I can. Princess Peach. Those dudes want to rule the world? That would stink. No doubt it would. And yeah, oh no. I should probably do the story now before I forget. It's a cherry bomb. Hi, I guess I'm Jerry. I'm a bomb -bom from Plump Belly Village. Nice meeting you. Sorry I sound so down, but you would be too if you saw Luigi dressed as a bride. I'm serious. It scarred me. It was honestly scarier than that giant snake thing. I feel I now have a moral duty to stop Luigi from ever dressing as a bride again. I have to protect the world from my fate. That's why I'm sticking close to this guy. Alright, Luigi, what lies do you have to tell me today? <laughs> Well, I got my second piece of the Marvelous Compass at Plump Early Village recently. Oh boy, I got my hands dirty on that one, I'll tell you what. It was pretty wild, bro. Yes, I would like to hear that. Plump Belly Village. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here it goes. Once we made landfall on the Stoodle Continent, we made for Plump Belly Village. Once we got there, though, we immediately noticed that something was wrong. And Mario's already falling asleep. We noticed that the mayor of the town was ruled by a giant snake named Hiza. He said his own daughter was going to be offered as a sacrifice to this beast. Yo sure is sleeping. So now I'm Mario sleeping. So of course, being heroic, I offered myself up to go in his her seat. Brave, huh? Now the custom was for a sacrifice to be dressed up as brides. So I do got all dolled up. <laughs> I was one hot sacrifice, bro. <laughs> That's conflicting to what that babam says behind you. I looked so good, I fooled our foes and got in his as lair. It was kind of rough fighting him like down, but I managed. Chiffon really chafed, bro. <laughs> I finally found his uh, and the snake had a second head on his tail. Talk about scary. I fainted real quick, but when I came to, I managed to distract both heads. It reeled up Fang's bar to attack, and at that moment, I deftly lunged left. His gaping mouth smashed into one another, and he vanished in a cloud of smoke. A shining plate fell down on the spot where his body had been cornered. Yes, another compass piece. I set it and it pointed east, to Circuit Break Island. Just as I was about to leave town, the mayor asked me to stay and marry his daughter. Uh oh! I thought about it, she was sorta of cute, but we ended up sneaking off the next morning. <laughs> I mean, I still have to save Princess Claire from the Chestnut King. And when the Marvelous Compass activated this time, I heard somebody's voice. It was so beautiful, bro. I'm certain it was Princess Claire's voice. My heart began to race. That was when I realized it. Princess Claire. I think I... Oh, I, I kind of zoned out there. Um, so yeah, we set sail again after ditching town. And somehow we managed to get back here to Rogueport. And here I am. Nice story, Luigi. I I will be... I am excited to hear your continuing tale. <laughs> but, uh, unfortunately, there's not more to hear at this moment in time. Because he's got more adventuring to do. So anyway, as I said, I've got to do some stuff over here by the Trouble Center on uh, this side of Roadport because now with the powers that be, urgh, I can cross gaps like that. And that means I can get over to here and get a star piece on top of this roof. 
And over here, this is a really tricky one. Sneak between these crates. Shine bright! Oh yeah! And if you try to get from this side over to that side, it's just not going to work! Because you don't have enough height to do it when you're on one of the lower levels. And, uh, uh, like, if I were to go even from here at the very, very edge... Oh, you can actually make it! I thought you always had to squeeze between those crates. Well, I learned something new today. <laughs> There's actually two ways to get there. Interesting, interesting. Okie dokie. Um, okay, I'm now going to go back up on the roof. Because there is a little bit more. Back to on this side! Okay, oh. And now if you remember, there's a star piece right behind this chimney. You can see that from the other side. Uh, you probably remember seeing that a while back. Up here is another shine sprite. Oh, yes! And over here is a storyteller, which I'm not going to pay for at the moment, but I'll, I'll go through the dialogue. Good afternoon to you, sir. I am called Grifty, the traveling minstrel. I spend my days here in leisure, spinning tales that spin the senses. I know but a few of the stories that surround the town of Roadport. If you like, I can share them with you, but will require just a few coins. Is there a tale you want to hear? These are the tales I can tell you now. Uh, no, I'm looking to conserve my coins because I, I want 300 coins for a side quest that I'll also be doing this part. Well, it's not, not so much a side quest as it is a investment of sorts, I guess you could say. I'll sh I'll explain it when I get into it because I need the, the 300 coins. Anyway, let's start on the side quest at the Trouble Center here. Starting with the Puny Elder. I'm getting up there in years, so I want me some insurance. A life shroom. I'm in no big hurry, but sometime before my time comes would be nice. Please meet me in the Great Tree in Bogley Woods. Yes, I would like to do that. So I'm going to just grab the life room that I have in storage because, yeah, <laughs> I, I don't really need life rooms like as a backup plan because I'm, I'm decent at this game enough that I don't really have to worry about that sort of thing. Wait, you're still here? This is my brother's shop. Someday I'd like to have my own shop. That'd be nice. I thought you'd go inside after I get the contact lens, but I guess not. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to grab my life shroom that I've had here for the longest time. If you don't have one, you can always buy uh, a life shroom at the shop on the west side of town. Alright, now I've got to go over to the Bogley Woods. Oh, by the way, uh, over here, when you're going back, there's something a little interesting. Uh, you'll notice that there's this block here. Urgh, you can break that now. But why would you want to break that? Well, it, it, it comes... Well, first, here's a Shine Sprite, of course. You definitely don't want to miss the Shine Sprite. But, uh, see those switches over there? Uh, you definitely, definitely want to activate these things. And you'll see why when I go inside one. Come on, let me go back up. Let me go... Ah, there we go. <laughs> so we go in this pipe. Watch what happened after I hit that switch. Boggly Woods! Look at that! Yeah, these are these pipes are basically like uh, warp points, and that's why that block was there in your way to uh, prevent you from coming through here, you know, a little bit too early and unlocking stuff that you shouldn't have access to without taking the long road here. Oh, is that you, Mario? Are you here to listen to me pontificate for a spell? No, no. Why did you bring me a life shroom? I brought you a life shroom. Oh, glory, you got one. A life shroom. Lovely. Thank you, Mario. And you made it before I actually needed it. Ooh, here, take this reward. A life shroom is like health insurance. I'll live a long life now for certain. 60 coins! Alright, I'm making my way over to that 300 coin investment. I'm gonna go up to the uh, room west of the jail room now. Because the punies and everything are back in the great tree, the, the jabby that I thought was in the room where Miss Mouse was, uh, yeah, I think should be there now. You know, the mouse thief. So, let's keep climbing, shall we? Ooh, gotta love my new form of transportation. So, so much faster than going on foot. Uh, hey, you're up here. Uh, hmm, must be some way you can use this cage without getting locked in. <laughs> what would you use a cage for, anyway? I mean, I, I suppose you could put use them as, like, storage rooms. Um, anyway, this... Just, uh... Yes! Okay. 
This was a thing that wasn't here before. I'm gonna tattle it. That's Jabby, Jabble the Jabby. He seems to be friends with Punio and Petunia. If the Punies and Jabbies could just get along like Punio and Jabble, maybe that's asking a bit much, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so I'll talk to it. A little Jabby baby. It's a Jabby baby. Why'd you have to say that twice? And you get a mushroom from it. And then it runs off. That's why I tattled it first, because you couldn't tattle it after it runs off. Anyway, there's something else I've got to uh, go back to in the Boggly Woods. So I'll just cut there. Well, that was unfortunate. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm in the area that I would like to um, uh, start off with, so I might as well run from this battle if I can. Ah! Oh, I'm kind of losing coins, and I need coins. Oh! Yes, got them all back! Okay. <laughs> um, over here, I was told by a couple of people that I missed something here. Where is it? Uh, there it is, a Volt Shroom. Yeah, I guess I missed that while I was smashing stuff over here blindly, so thanks for telling me that. Warping back to the underground. Let's see where the other pipe takes us. So let's drop off here, is it? Yep. Yeah! I couldn't even see the switch, it was slightly off-screen on my uh, uh, TV. So let's see what is down here now, shall we? Pedalberg! Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> You've seen enough. You know where it leads. Um, as long as I'm this low uh, down into the underground, I might as well... Um, Go all the way down to the Thousand Year Door. Uh, first, break this block, and now we've got a spring. Now we don't have to use the airplane panel off to the right. But speaking of airplane panels, um, going over here, I've never taken this route. Oh, taken this route through this room before. Use this to go off to the other side. Uh, if you go up here. Nope, you've seen it already. Shine Sprite! So don't forget about that. And I'm going to sneak through there. And now I'm going to go get this star piece. But what is this room, you may ask? Don't go through it just yet. Um, first, there's a little uh, checkpoint, I mean, a, a checklist here saying how many star pieces you found, uh, how many power bounces you've had, and the deepest level you've reached in this place. Do not... Do not, and I mean do not, go in here and try to do all 100 floors of... Danger! Do not enter! This pipe is the entrance to the Pit of 100 Trials! First attack and bump attack badges don't work. So beware! Yeah, uh, there's 100 floors of death awaiting you in this place, and it is by far the most difficult place in the game. Um, you can get some rewards just by going to the earlier floors of this place. But, oh, uh, oh man. I'd like to cover it all at once, even though you can get a really nice reward at the 50th floor. So I'm, I'm considering going down halfway uh, like after a certain chapter and then doing the other half in a later time because that place is really long too oh, and, oh, and, oh, I, I shouldn't say I'm doing half and half you actually have to do all 100 floors in one run uh, Otherwise you have to restart from the very beginning, but I would just cut ahead until you know to the second half of me uh, playing through the pit of 100 trials But anyway, oh man, I that's gonna be a interesting place to go through as long as I'm down here Let's hold up the star and magical map and see the next location that we have to get to. The suspense is killing me. Oh boy. Oh dear. Come on now. <laughs> It's a new place we've never been to before. Just like all the other places that have gotten unlocked. Hmm. Hmm. Mm hmm. And there's the location of the next star. 
Location of crystal stars and recorded down your magical map. Woo! Hey, that shows where the fourth crystal star is. Can't that frankly guy read it? Well, that would be cool, but first we better tell him what the Princess Peach's email said, right? Indeed. Also would like to do another uh, few side quests this part, if at all possible. What? <laughs> A group that kidnapped the Princess Peach is bent on total world conquest? Uh-huh, you got that right. That's why those jerks needed that legendary treasure. Hmm, this doesn't bode well. The situation has gotten far more serious than I thought. Let me bring you up to speed. I've been researching just what this treasure could be. One book I came across held to what I thought was a prosperous theory. The book claimed that the treasure was in actuality the Great Cataclysm. Mm -hmm. The very cataclysm that a thousand years ago sank that town underground. So these jerks the power of the, think the power of the Cataclysm will help them rule the world? I can't say for sure what they will do or why, but we must consider the possibility. A lot of things have come to this, so we mustn't let them near the legendary treasure. That's all that matters, because if they do get it, then once again, this town... No, the entire world could be destroyed. And out with it, Prov! We gotta find the next crystal star super quick! Hmm, according to the map, it appears that the next crystal star is in Twilight Town. Twilight Town? To tell you the truth, I don't know much about the place myself, only rumors. I have heard, as the name replies, it's perpetually dim and eerie there. Wait just a moment. Mm -mm -mm. Hmm? When did you grab that book, and how did you grab it without arms? Ah, there appears to be a pipe to Twilight Town, somewhere here in Roadport. I do believe it's somewhere underneath the west part of town. Yes, definitely. If you get stuck for any reason, just come back and see me again, okay. Under the ground in the west part of town? Check! Gotcha, Prov. Come on, Gonzales, let's go. Time to break out. This should be... Okay. Basically saying the same thing. As long as we're here, notice how Frankly's trash can now has something in here? Well, remember that I purposefully avoided getting the tattle for Macho Grubba? And uh, when you when you can't get a tattle again, you'll find it in this trash can. And now, where is Macho? Oh, but there it is, 103. So it's impossible to miss anything in this game permanently. Match XP is 60, attack is 4. You've seen me do all the stuff. I mean, you've seen me read, oh, read through. Actually, the tattle was longer in the battle uh, when I showed it on camera. But I got quite a few tattles already in this game. Alright, so that's why I avoided the um, uh, getting the tattle in uh, versus Macho Grava. Well, I did show it on camera, but I mean, I just wanted to show that this trash can exists. And here's something interesting. Um, the red bones in the uh, Hooktail Castle, if you miss that tattle, even though there's other red bones later on in the game, for some reason if you miss the tattle when you first meet up with it, you'll be able to find that tattle in the trash can. I don't know why that is, despite being able to battle him again later in the game, but that's just how things are, I suppose. <laughs> just how things go. Alright, so let's go do another trouble here. Lala! The Pianta Parlor is having its grand opening event. Whee! Whoever takes this request from get uh, request gets something special from Lala, a cute kitty boo. Wait, grand opening event? It's been open for a while. Well, when was the last time someone checked this board? We're waiting on Roadport's west side, so please come quickly. Smooch! Yes, I would like to do that. Alrighty, let's go to the west side of town. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, mailbox. Koopy Koo. <laughs> Koopy Koo. Oh, no. Dear Mario and Koops, I hope you two are doing okay. I have to admit, with Koops gone, I haven't been doing very well. I get lonely and I go into Koops' house and I smell that Koops smell. Okay, this is getting creepy. I guess it's your clone or whatever, but it makes me sad. Oh, she meant it like that. Okay. <laughs> I've gotten used to your smell, Koops. Oh, and the thing is, your dad, Koopley, has his own smell and it's weird. I think maybe it's the smell of Hooktail's gut. That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Now I grossed myself out, and since he's gonna be my dad too someday, I better get used to that smell, huh? Oh, what am I writing? I'm so embarrassed, but uh, I'm sending this anyway. <laughs> Love, Goopy Coo. Yeah, that's her. Alright, now to the west side of town. Perhaps we should visit sometime if she's not doing all that well, and maybe get some deodorant for Coops' dad. <laughs> Alright, so we're already at the west side of town here. I didn't even bother cutting at all because it's just that quick after all, so yeah. Here we are, Pianta Parlor. This is probably one of the easiest um, things to do in the entire game, this quest right here, because it's so close by. Hi, hello there, Mario. Welcome to the parlor. Oh, you took on my trouble? That is super! Well, okay, here's your special thing. And you're rewarded with 10 Pianta coins. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. Hey, what's the matter? You look disappointed. <laughs> Well, fine, whatever. Enjoy the parlor. Play and win. I'm actually going to save these coins for uh, something later on, because I need I need some cake mix for another trouble at the trouble center. Oh, and she's going to hold the uh, uh, piantas for me. And again, I'd like to do the pianta parlors games, like, all in one part, uh, if at all possible. Um, how many coins do I have right now? 256. I need uh, 44 coins from somewhere, and I don't plan on doing any more troubles this part um i guess i could go sell some badges that i don't use definitely not the charge badges i'm keeping those suckers equipped for the whole game <laughs> those charge badges are like the clutch badges of awesomeness and uh all right let's see selling what can i sell here that's over 50 Ooh. Ooh. i don't really use this I mean, that might be good for long-term stuff, like the Pit of 100 Trials, but it's not something that I would typically... Yeah, so I'm going to sell that. Yeah! Alright, I got my 300 coins. Now... Now, now... I'm going to go to the docks, because between... I mean, I should say from chapters 2 to 4... You'll see a certain mouse over by the docks here. There it is. Hey, you! You're Mario? Mo uh, this is so cool. I never thought I'd be a celebrity out there. Uh, oh, 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 I know. Uh, do you want me to make, make an investment, Mario? Huh? My name's Lumpy, and I'm heading out the dry, dry desert to prospect for oil. I've lived my life hoping to get rich quick, and now my chances have come. But I still don't have enough startup funds. Could you please lend me some money? Believe it or not, he is actually an honest guy here, despite what the music is and, uh, you know, the music implies and the rest of Rogueport citizens, I should say most of Rogueport citizens. So I will invest him 100, well actually 300 coins. That's why I wanted 300 coins here, so I'm going to, yes, yes, yes. Um, now... After a certain amount of chapters have passed, your investment will most certainly pay off. Um, if you pay him just 100 coins, he will bring back 300 coins to give you. If you pay him 200 coins, he will give you 600 coins. And if you give him the full 300 coins, he will give you a full 999 coins. So, he is a very honest guy, and you most certainly want to invest moolah into him. You are welcome. Alright, so let's leave him be. And... End off the part here. <laughs> That's enough side questing for one part, methinks. So, I hope you enjoyed this part, and I'll see you in the next one.